Welcome to our lectern line. Here we have kind of an interesting example. The sine of 5 over the natural log of x. And we're supposed to find the derivative of that. Again, we follow the normal rules of finding derivatives. So here, we first start with the rules of sines. We take the derivative sine, which would be the cosine. And then we take the derivative of the angle. So this would, is what it would look like. So we have y prime is equal to... First, we take the derivative of the sine, which becomes the cosine of the angle, 5 over the natural log of x, times the derivative of the angle, the, DDR, the ddx, of 5 divided by the natural log of x. Now, here we have a quotient, so we're going to use the quotient rule in that case. So this becomes equal to the cosine of 5 divided by the natural log of x. That's a terrible-looking natural log here. Natural log. There, that's better. Times the derivative of that, so we use the quotient rule. We take the denominator, the natural log of x, times the derivative of the numerator, which is 0, minus the numerator, which is 5, times the derivative of the denominator, which is 1 over x, all divided by the denominator squared, which would be the natural log of x quantity squared. Now be careful, that's not the same as the natural log of x squared. This is the quantity natural log of x squared. All right, so now we have a minus 5. We have an x in the denominator, so this can be written as the cosine of 5 divided by the natural log of x times, here we end up with a minus 5 in the numerator divided by x times the quantity natural log of x squared. And I believe that's probably the best way, best form to leave the answer. Uh, yes, it is. And that's how we do a problem like that. Is the whole thing an angle? No, it's an angle times a quantity.